Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh, why is it so dark? Okay, wait a minute. Oh, there you are. So I recently announced that I went back full-time at Buzz20 Studios. Yay! I'm so excited. I've been full-time at this for a few months, doing my best to implement a new content creation calendar. And so over the past four months, I've created quite a bit that never made it <laughs> to the internet. I've shelved two or three very different, very big projects. I've shelved them all because I get to a point in the production process where I just think it's a stupid idea and or it's not as good as I want it to be and it's shelved. I am literally the worst client. <laughs> I am my own worst client. Like I've had, I don't think I've had worse clients than myself. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> the thing is, it wouldn't be so bad if I gave up on like the writing stage of it or the shooting stage of it or even the editing stage of it, but I actually get the project to completion. It's done. It's a done project, like literally ready to upload. And I say to myself, Nope. Do something else. It's for various reasons, but it is very infuriating because I have so many different interests and I have so many different ideas of what I want to be and what kind of content I want to create and, and, and I just can't pick a lane. I made a video, I had finished it yesterday and I had even like had people look at it to see if it was funny and like they were like, oh yeah, that, that's great. And then I watched it myself and I'm like, I don't like it, it's dumb. And it was that, like, that idea spurred other ideas. I was thinking, oh my god, like, what if, you know, I start moving into comedy videos? Like, that would be so funny. Like, I had so much, I had so many ideas to, to make really funny videos and decided to not. I had thought that, you know, like, I want to be, I want to make, like, cool epic content like I'm such a fan of Peter McKinnon and I would love to make content like him and I would love to like just basically be him and he's like very cool and stuff and like something that I feel like I could pretend to be <laughs> but then also I was thinking oh geez you know but like I do weddings mainly so I gotta make wedding content as well and there's a ton of stuff that's beautiful that people make for wedding content and I just, and I think, well, I gotta start making that stuff as well. And so I just can't pick a lane <laughs> to be in. And so I just gotta stop being so hard on myself and I gotta just put something out there. Recently, I had rolled out some branding packages to kind of like help small businesses to create um, social media content marketing plans. I'm going to be pushing that pretty soon. There's the page on my website is already up and it started getting quite a bit of traffic, like more traffic than weddings. And, and so I realized, oh God, I got to finish that page. I got to make it so that it looks better, right? Cause it's getting traffic and it doesn't look perfect yet. It doesn't look great yet. So what I thought I would do is I would create some product photography. I would do some, I would just take random things in my house and take some like product photos. So I decided to go on a, a YouTube binge and I uh, compiled a list and I, I had some old, I have old cameras that I wanted to photograph, kind of made a plan and that's what I did today. So I, I and I filmed it so that you guys could watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna share this list with you. And uh, you guys can, I don't know if you ever plan on doing it yourself or if you're interested in how I do it, that's what today is all about. Number one is try not to light the background, I guess, is what I found is that like, um, 
light the subject and the background will illuminate. Um, now this is in the sense, in the, in the case that you aren't shooting on a white background. If you're trying to get a, like a flush, perfect white background, you obviously have to light it. That's fair. But if you're having like a textured background, which is what I was kind of going for, then you don't really need to light it. I don't have a very big studio, right? So I didn't have a whole lot of, this is, this is it. This, this is my space that I work in and it's very small and claustrophobic. So I am very limited on the type of studio photography I can do. Um, so I had this set up. Um, I had this black sheet on the table and I put um, a, a canvas to hold it upright. So the next point was to make sure there's lots of texture. You pick the item that you want to photograph and then you kind of pick a theme around it, right? So for this old camera, I was thinking like rustic and cutesy and Instagram and, but I was also thinking like sort of edgy and like cool lighting as well. So with the point and shoot camera, what I did is I, uh, I had the black sheet and then I put a wooden cheese board and I had different sized photos. I had photos that I'd actually taken with that camera, but I can't find them. I have no idea where they are. So I just used some Polaroids and I used some other prints that I had um, taken. Um, one was actually a card that I got one time. And then I put the camera in the middle and I had a, and then I took a picture overhead and I really loved the catch light that you could get in the lens. And so I tried to like make sure I had that at every angle and I had to move the light around a couple of times. I had a plan for the point and shoot, but I didn't, know what to do with the rest of them. The Super 8 camera that I have. Or a Super 16. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's, I thought it was a Super 8, but maybe it isn't. The, it sits funny and I had such a hard time photographing it. The way you store it, it's upside down. So like all of the labels on it are upside down. Everything reads upside down. And I just, I had the hardest time shooting with it. You, you shoot like this, you record like this, but then you kind of store it upright like this, so it looks, so like all of, so when you shoot with it, like the, the label in the front is upside down. I, uh, I put some eucalyptus out, and I think I'm gonna put in, I don't know. Oh gosh, the lavender is so dry that it's falling apart. Um, maybe I can use this somehow? I don't know, just let's, let's, uh, let's try. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Let's put it in. The scent. I don't know. Because you have to give it space. Should it even be like, should it be like this? feeling very discouraged. I was playing around with it when I noticed something. I had a, I had taken all of the props off of the background, off of the black background. And I just had the camera sitting there while I was taking everything off. And I noticed that the background was being lit from behind. And it had like this wavy mountainy look to it. And I thought it was so cool. And so I tried to implement that instead to make it more minimalist, but also not perfectly smooth. That's kind of what I did with the rest of the products, except for the camcorder. I did um, some other iterations with like a, I had a card box that I used. For branding, it's really, really important that you have good quality photography and uh, to, to sell your actual product. And so um, I really love the flat lay style of like having like different textures and different levels. You know, something that like makes it look more like life. I've never really liked the idea, like the look of like a clean studio product. You know what I mean? Like I, I really like the, I like really dark and moody photos. And I never found that studio photography like with white backgrounds or are really my thing. So with this, I wanted to create um, good quality photography that was like a little different than what you're normally used to seeing um, in, a, in a flat lay and something that you can sell to somebody. Nothing sells a product more than actually seeing what it does and what it, what it looks like in action.
that's all I have for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this video and give it a like, uh, comment things, um, share it if you think it was interesting. Let me know if you want more content like this of me just hanging out in my office like I do all day every day. Um, yeah. I I honestly feel like I feel like I'm so boring to watch so I don't <laughs>